I think that the biggest thing that, that I've gotten out is the, the value from the from the speakers and also the connections, bar none. I think, you know, relationships is the biggest commodity we can all, you know, we can attain. So I think that building those relationships, connecting with them face to face is something we can't get anywhere else on, online. We're networking, we're making new friends, we're, we're getting inspired, we're getting motivated, uh, not just to uh, build our own business or whatever, just to improve our lives in general. And, and that's what I think is really the best part of StyleCon. It was amazing that they can draw such a broad audience from really all over the U.S. and even all over the world. I was shocked to see people coming, you know, from, from international countries as well. People here are a lot of very accessible, very helpful, and very encouraging. And, and it's really true that they truly want to see you succeed, not just themselves, but you also. One of my favorite parts about StyleCon is probably uh, the second day where we learned a, a lot of self-improvement things you know, things that we can not necessarily take and start something new, but even that we can just take and apply to ourselves in our everyday lives. The atmosphere, it feels exactly the same of just a bunch of people who want to help out each other, hear each other's stories and make sure that everybody like feels good about themselves. And that's, I think, is really special. Favorite part was reconnecting with a lot of people that I met last year, uh, having that whole brotherhood, fellowship kind of atmosphere. It's like a bunch of old friends that haven't seen each other getting back together and just enjoying being with each other. You can see both the people where you were a year ago, where you are right now, and where you want to be 10 years from now, all together in the same room, which you can't really find anywhere else. I got to meet uh, some great people, um, again, both uh, Aaron and Antonio, and as well as uh, people like Marcus and others, you know, who've come down and who share a similar interest and a similar passion. I felt so empowered by being around such like minds that are into not just fashion and what you can see, but what you can be. This experience of this weekend has been transforming and, and this, this fervency and zeal that I have for and this passion for uh, being the best man I can be and taking it back and uh, transforming other men and allowing them to be the best people they can be. What I like best about the event is that the stories, they are raw, they are they're natural, you, you, you can understand like where they're coming from and where they are now. And it makes you feel that whatever you really want to do, if you put your mind to it, it will be a success. You sit down with these guys and you talk to them and you talk to people like them and you realize that you actually can do it. You see that it is within your realm of possibility and I haven't, I've been to other uh, entrepreneurial events and I haven't had that experience anywhere else but here. Just overall, the experience has been phenomenal. I'm a college student. I paid for this trip out of my own pocket, and it's a thousand percent worth it. I recommend it to anybody looking to improve themselves. I wanted to be here, and in a way, I felt I needed to be here as well because I wanted to, to catch up with all these people, meet new people, and get even more inspired to get where I want to be in life. Stalkin has inspired me because I'm moving into a new venture in, my, in the industry that I'm in right now and they've given me a lot of great ideas of how to move forward, especially with social media and marketing within that industry. So I'm really inspired to go out and try that. The speakers this year were fantastic. They were really good last year, but I think this year they even stepped up their game even more. I don't attend conferences or anything like this often, um, and so hence why I said this is like the best decision of my life. Um, just being able to get that face-to-face -face interaction because you can sit behind the keyboard all day long, um, send emails, read blog posts, but once you meet face-to-face -face and you see firsthand that everyone's here just to build each other up and to be better people, it's like, it's so gratifying to know that they're here, they want to help you as well all seeing all the examples, seeing what they do and what I do is similar, and realizing that I have the tools available to me and now I have the people available to me that can help me get to that level. Basically a continuation from last year. You know, all of that great information and meeting all the great people, you know, the friends that I met, and this year seeing them again and even meeting more people because even though I'm from New York City, uh, major, major world city, I still felt alone and, and joining this tribe, um, you know, felt like I was part of a family. You know, I've, you know, been a follower and a, you know, subscriber to each of these guys' different channels for a while. 
and uh, it definitely inspires me to want to contribute to this community. So my passions and interests, I definitely want to put those out there and be able to share that with other people too now. You know, it's different being behind a computer screen and, you know, just absorbing all that content. But when you actually, um, you know, make the physical move, uh, you know, it shows how passionate you are about, about style and about self-improvement. I was here last year and I looked like a slob. Like, I was embarrassed to be here. This year, I, like, I tried really hard to become like, more fit, more personable, dress better, just overall a better person. StyleCon's inspired me so many different ways. Just hearing about people's stories about how people are going on a lot of the same journey as you with dealing with self-criticism, uh, thinking that you should be able to see success faster. It's, it's knowing that the, the mindsets that are going through my head are very common among a lot of the entrepreneurs and business people here. It's, it's a little bit comforting to know that, you know, there is a lot of reason to be optimistic about the future. Yeah, I just feel like the room's crackling with creativity. Like, there are so many incredibly creative and ingenious people in this room that after coming here and hearing some of the stories and talking with some of these people who run businesses or people who work for businesses, who are starting businesses, all you want to go do is just go home and be as productive as possible just to compete with some of these guys. It's really just a fantastic feeling. I, I work in a predominantly or traditionally offline business and it's really kind of gotten my wheels turning on how to, to build my personal brand even more than I am and really create that online presence that maybe I'm lacking right now. now I've got my plans to uh, start my own business, actually leave the industry where I'm in and actually do something that is more what I would like to do and, and that thing that's what StyleCon is about. I feel that um, I myself couldn't have done these things beforehand uh, and now I feel like it is definitely um, in the realm of possibility. It's like I don't, you don't know where to start and StyleCon definitely gives you a really, really um, cool starting place. Needless to say, this is definitely not going to be my last time. I am definitely looking forward to 2017 and I know we're going to see some more great stuff next year. Oh, if, if I don't, I'll be dead, but I'll do everything I can to be here next time. It's been so incredible. I can't, I need more of this. If I met these people this year, I know there will be new people next year that are going to come here, and I can't wait to meet those people. Absolutely, I look forward to coming back StyleCon, building on the relationships that I've, I've learned and, and the relationships that I've built right now today, and I'm looking forward to building more relationships in the future. Make certain next year you're there with me. Look forward to seeing you. Take care.